Sister City, part of the same municipality. Here, in, that's why we call it the Capes or Los Cabos. So here in the Sea of Cortez is the center of all activity of tourism. This is the number one beach in Los Cabos called Medano Beach, which means sandy hills. And this is modern Cabo San Lucas. These buildings here, these brown buildings here, are only two years old. Then these other buildings started to come into construction over the last 10 to 15 years. This large building here, this is called Casa Dorada Hotel, this only three years old. Fishing. Los Cabos, the Sea of Cortez, and the Pacific Ocean at this latitude, which by the way, we're approximately at latitude 22 is some of the best, uh, whether it be the striped, or the black, or the blue marlin, and every other kind of, any other species of fish that one can imagine can be caught in these waters. And anglers, as fishermen are called, anglers come to Los Cabo, which is this open area here, which actually is a riverbed. Now you would think that in a desert-like um, uh, region, there are no rivers. And well, that's basically true, unless it rains. And our rain season is approximately five or six weeks long, that's all. It happens really from uh, maybe the first week of September, um, sometime into October. The ridge of hills called We call these hills the Petulant Hills. And these hills are the very southern tip of land on the peninsula. Again, like I mentioned, the peninsula is a thousand miles long, 1,200 miles at this point, 1,200 miles long. And at the very of course, decided to develop tourism. And with that, became, it became a state. And it receives all the benefits of slavery. Only 650,000 inhabitants and over 700 miles worth of Peninsula Strip. And, uh, and of course, growing, growing every day. If you look left and right, you'll see construction going on. Yeah. 
activity. People enjoy this particular beach because, well, it's, uh, it, it's very, it's kind of difficult to get to. And being that it is difficult to get to, leaves it in a very natural state. You can only get to this particular beach um, by way of small vessels. You take a small water taxi from the marina, or like the fellow over there on his motor, his water, water motorbike, or a kayak, but this is the only way that you can get here. And so here we are on Lover's Beach, Romance Beach, and it's been this way for years and years and years and years, and we hope to keep it for years in the United States and in Canada with three feet of snow. Today, boys and girls are hanging out in the water in the fierce push of Enjoy the afternoon sun. I enjoy seeing that. This, this rock formation here in front of us, if you have a little bit of imagination, you can maybe see the finger pointing upwards. This rock formation is known as Neptune's finger for that particular kind of, of idea where he's pointing upwards saying, you're number one. And now as we come around towards the right, we will reveal the arch. So yes indeed, have your cameras handy. We'll take a few, quite a few moments here, actually we'll probably turn the Cabo Ray around once or twice so that you can get different angles. And please feel free, the waiters are all most professional photographers at this point. They can take your photograph as well. We do have a group of professional photographers on board also. We can sure that we allow them to take your photograph. It is definitely uh, something special. There are several arches around the world. Oh, several. There's a few arches around the world. There's one in similar conditions in Australia. This one here, as you can see, has a particular interesting point that it forms a beach below it. The other neighbors of ours year round, they have an easy going life to tell you the truth. They're there now warming up. In the early morning, they'll be off the rock, feasting, literally, uh, for breakfast. In Manhattan, they used to go to Central Park to the zoo in New York City. And there was an area where the fields would be tricks and, and we would listen. And that was the same kind of environment that the zoos tried to reproduce. So this is the real thing right here. And this is the way they look. And as you can see, yeah, it gets chilly. For them it gets a little chilly and they like to think to Thank you. 
fishy, fishy, fishy. There he is, over there.
Today we are going to have a very, very special tour because you are with us. Yes? Come on, let me feel. Let me feel that you mean that. You are with us today and you are on vacation. That's right, good. Welcome everybody, welcome to Acapulco. My friends, as all of you know, we are going to have, you know, about uh, two and a half hours tour. We are going to be sailing around Acapulco base, but of course, first of all, we are gonna stop at La Quebrada. Do you know what we're gonna see at La Quebrada? <coughs> the divers, that's right. This is the best show in the world. And let me tell you, my friends, that I have free lessons for anybody who wants to try it. <laughs> okay, just let me know before we get there. Okay, my friends? Now, let's start with, uh, you know, some information about Acapulco. If you turn your eyes to your right, right here, well, to my right, right here we have part of what we call the old Acapulco. Remember that Acapulco is split in four sections. The old Acapulco, which is that section where we have the ship terminal and all this area that we can see to the right of the boat. And then we have the tourist area, which is going to be at the positive side. As you can see, all along the main avenue or the main beaches of Acapulco is where we have the hotels, restaurants. Okay, the house I was talking about, my friends, is coming, and you can see it on the right side on top of the hill. Now, this house has a beautiful view because you can see it from any, anywhere in Acapulco. And as I said, it's owned by one of the richest families in Acapulco or in Mexico. Even that we have a lot of prices in Mexico, you know, we have a lot of rich people. So, uh, you know, I'd like to be part of that little group. By the way, does anybody know what is the name of Acapulco? Well, the real name of Acapulco is Acatl Folotlco. That's uh, the Caleta Hotel. As you can see, it has a huge terrace right in front of the hotel. And also it has, you know, some kind of private beach. I gotta mention some kind of private beach and this is because in Mexico my friends we don't have private beaches at all according with our constitution all the beaches they are public and they are open to everybody that means nobody can charge you anything for using the beaches even those that they are right in front of the nicest hotels it might be possible that any hotel charge you a fee because you are using their facilities but not because you're using the beaches. They are public. This is the hotel, the Casablanca Hotel. And as you can see, that terrace is a, you know, one of the uh, nicest places to come and uh, have uh, the wedding in the island. This is also a beautiful place to practice the snorkeling. And in my personal opinion, that's the best place to do so. Also, my friends, we have, you know, a very nice restaurant where you can come with the family and stay the whole day. To go to the Roqueta Island, my friends, you have to take a ferry that comes from Caleta and Caletilla beaches to the island. Okay, that's his house, the one with, uh, you know, the cabanas on top and the blue swimming pool and uh, the lighthouse. This is his house. Can you see him right there? He's saying hello, hello. <laughs> And right next to uh, Sticks and Queen House, we have this small house, the yellow one, which used to be the house where Mr. Kennedy came to spend his honeymoon. Another famous 
house, my friends, is this one coming to uh, to the right of, uh, of the boat. Is uh, you know the first white house uh, with the red roof, the old one, the oldest that you can see. You know, it's uh, not in very good shape. But this house used to be owned by Dolores del Rio. Dolores del Rio was the uh, first uh, women, Mexican women, that went uh, to Hollywood and filmed some Hollywood uh, movies. But she is uh, very famous here in Mexico, Dolores del Rio. with uh, the big terrace is the one owned by Lee Trevino, the famous golfer, Lee Trevino. Okay, my friends, now let me tell you, we are heading right now to La Quebrada. I'm gonna ask you to please, if you don't have to leave your seats, don't do it. If you wanna go to the restrooms, do, do it right now. Of course, we have also a snack included, a snack lunch included. Come on, if you need something, let me know. Do you want something right there? Okay, a ver, chicos, chicos, allá la señora. One beer, two beers, three beers. Uh, alcoholic beer? <laughs> She's asking me what kind of beer, alcoholic beer. That's what we have, alcoholic beer. Beer, chicos, otra cerveza acá, por favor. Allá atrás quieren tres cervezas y aquí una, por favor. If you take a look to the right to the boat, on top of the hills, we are gonna see these small bungalows, white and pink bungalows. They are Los Flamingos Hotel, world famous hotel. This hotel used to be owned by Johnny Weissmuller and John Wayne. Remember that during the 40s and 50s, he was part of that famous Hollywood gang. Do you remember Elizabeth Taylor with Acapulco? So he decided also to have a house in Acapulco. And that house is the last house in the hill, on top of the hill. The white one with the big terrace and the palm tree in the middle. The house of John Wayne. was filmed uh, here in Acapulco. But let me tell you, the old tour guys, they say that Elvis Presley never came to Acapulco. So they just filmed some locations of Acapulco and he was making the movie up there in Hollywood. Surrounded by palm trees and with the blue swimming pool. Can you see that? Okay, that's the house of Mr. Frank Sinatra. Right next to these two guys, there are two blue and white chapels. Can you see those? Those are in honor to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Now, when the divers, they get up there, they pray to her to let her know, you know, to ask her to save their lives. And we are ready, we are ready. My friends, I want you to take uh, pay attention to this show. When they wave to you, when they wave to you, they are just saying hello. But when they raise their two arms all the way up to the sky, that means that they are ready to jump.
you to take pictures with them right here. Come to the boat, so you're going to have the chance to take pictures with them. Okie dokie, and as I said at the beginning, if you want we are going to continue with our tour, but now we are, you know, at the newest area of Acapulco, which is, you know, known as the, as the golden area or the tourist area of Acapulco. Starting from here to the middle of the bay, where we can see the first big building, is where we have the tourist area. Right here, my friends, is where we have the most exclusive residential area of Acapulco. And I gotta say, the most rich or the richest or the richest area of Acapulco. That house, you know, most all of them, sir. Oh, most of them, they are timeshare condominiums. Yes, most of them. We have uh, the Grand Hotel. Some of the rooms they are timeshare. You know, it's uh, what is keeping the the economy, the economy in Acapulco. Sir, I don't know. My taxes, they are very low, so I really don't know. I don't know, but they must be very, very expensive. In this area, yes. But if you pay, you know, like a property taxes here in Acapulco, for example, my apartment that is located in a very good area, no, not at least reasons, of course, but in a a nice area. I'm paying about, uh, let's say, Right next to the hotel, we have Condesa Beach. Along this area, along this beach is where we have, you know, the famous restaurants as Betos, Black Beers, uh, Paradise, you know, very good seafood restaurants. And also the area is very nice for the senoritas to come and swim topless. So this is a good area, gentlemen. You see? Okay. If you have the energy, of course, <laughs> to come here, I'm here, I'll swim here. Come on, don't get me wrong. Oh, David is telling me not to forget to mention McDonald's. You see those arches, the golden arches. That's McDonald's. If you ask me, guys, we have in Acapulco McDonald's, uh, Burger King, Starbucks, mention it. Uh, Costco, Sam's, Walmart, KF, uh, KFC. The only thing that we don't have in Acapulco, do you know which one it is? Taco Bell, that's right, Taco Bell. The government say no more
get another of my cousins. Crazy guy. And somebody was asking me about the Marriott Hotel. Okay, the first big building with the peak on top, that's the Marriott Hotel. Well, it used to be the Marriott Hotel. Now it's known as the Avalanche.
one of our ships organized to today, please take careful note of the meeting time and place which is printed on the front of your tour ticket. Ruby Princess will be sailing for Princess Case this evening and we ask that you return on board no later than 4.30 p.m. Once again, we ask that you return on board no later than 4.30 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you are on a tour, shopping or exploring on your own, we hope you enjoy an excellent day ashore in Kosovo. ¿Cómo están? How are you? Good. Welcome to Mexico, everybody, and thank you very much for coming today and choosing this place in particular. And well, Cova. As a tour guide, I really, really, really like to work at Cova. It is a longer bus ride, but it's very well worth it because we're going to end up at a place that it's a lot more authentic, not so commercialized, and we're going to see some Mayan communities. And we're going to get to climb the tallest pyramid of the Yucatan Peninsula. It's the only site where you get to climb, Cova. Yes, so far. As a Mexican, but first, many of you were asking me this question, where are we? This is Playa del Carmen. Now you have arrived from Mexico's largest island, which is Cozumel. Do you know that Cozumel is the most visited island of the world? And because of the amount of cruise ships that we have almost all, all year round, but this is the very, very busy season for us especially when it comes to the cruise ships and of course this is mainland playa del carmen everything you see is very new playa del carmen was declared a city 21 years ago i have to say you picked to see the best part of my country of course if you come out of that bus and ask any of those as a mexican what do you feel the most proud of what do you like the most about your country our history our culture our ancient heritage so uh, thank you very much for letting us uh, show you this. I think, no, I know that you are on the Princess Cruise, on the Ruby, am I right? Yes. Very good, just arriving to Cova right now. So please wake up and uh, start maybe arranging your things, what you will need to bring for the site. Not arrange on top of each other. You will see many mounds like this that archeologists simply were not Yeah, it's not uh, 11 or 15, it's less. Way back. 
It is uh, found also very often in many parts of the world, but I think it's sacred in India. You know, this tree is very, very strong. Here we only have underground aquifers, right? So sometimes when you're swimming in the underground rivers, you see the stalactites because of the water has been filtering through many, many years, thousands of years, but you also see the roots of this tree. The roots of this tree go across. At the main temple, the staircase is very, very, very steep. It is like almost like climbing, literally, and the steps are this big. Even if you have really, really small feet, it's not to the tablet. We are going to find many a koba. This is one of the most interesting ones. It is pretty much a date. A lot of us remember December 21, 2012, because a lot of people make a big deal about it. The end of the world and everything. Returning to this, the sun, which was represented by the rubber ball, was made out of the sap of this tree. They vulcanize the sap of this, which is a natural glue, it's a liquid latex. And, of course, when you make a cut on the bar... Ladies and gentlemen, no hoch mul. Remember? Big mouth. That's what it means. Of course, it's just a name given by the locals in the Mayan language. I recommend you, as you can see that gentleman coming down, you have to go sideways. It's better. Yeah. yeah, grab the rope. Any of you feel like you're losing balance? Butt climbing down works too. <laughs> it's not a competition. Take it. Um, we have very, very, very good time. There is no need to rush, no need to run. Do you see the guy waving way up there? Okay, right over there is where you see Chamil Vintun, the sacrificial stone. Right over there is one, two, lay your back, and then pretend as if you're being sacrificed. I did it and then you look this way because, of course, back in the time. I was kind of looking in general to the whole thing. Okay. So. It's okay. Okay. Oh, this is far enough. Did you take one already? No, I want to. Don't overdo it, Robin. I know my knee is. Climb a bit up. Yep.